Hello and welcome to New Junction. It's another month and there's another issue of the Railway Magazine which is a free magazine available from your local model store. Um, I've picked out the best bits for me and I'm going to go through those articles and some of the news in the uh, double gauge model world. So grab yourself a cuppa and we'll see what's happening. So, the first article that stood out to me um, was a small article that Fox Transfers have released uh, N-Gage, Double O-Gage and O-Gage um, um, headboards for engines um, in the shape of a poppy. Um, and I think there's seven designs. Um, they are £5.80 for an N-Gage, £8.10 for a Double O and £10.80 for an O-Gage. Um, and I thought, being as it's close to November and of course Remembrance Day, um, it was quite fitting, so that's quite a good, uh, um, a good addition. <clears throat> I'm very modular. Now, it's not an easy industry to get into, um, and I was reading. There's a, a brand new model shop called A to B Model Railways, which is opened in Matlock, Bath. Um, now, I know a lot of my viewers, like myself, are motorcycle riders, and if you live anywhere near the Midlands, um, Derbyshire, and the Peak District, um, and then subsequently Matlock, Bath is a bit of a biker hotspot um, and it's opened up right on the, the main strip of Matlock Bath for those of you who know it um, which is an odd location but um, it's great for me being a biker because um, it's why I frequent quite often um, so I mean if you're uh, in that area I mean I don't envy them I mean um, it's a bit of a seasonal spot um, and uh, I'm sure it's not an easy industry to get into um, but uh, I wish them every success and I'll definitely be taking them look at that so if you're in the area pop along now one of the bigger articles in the magazine is uh, about Helgen's class 07 um, this one in particular is the uh, Ruston and Hornsby model and um, the dock shunter um, now a few of you will remember I had the I borrowed the uh, British Sands liveried version um, and there's a model I think it's absolutely incredible detail for its size it is really small um, but uh, if you're into shunting and things like that, you like your 08s, things like that, your 04s, um, this will suit you down to the ground. Um, it says on the uh, the article, it's got a suggested retail of £140. Um, you can find them a bit cheaper online. Um, and I'm sure your local shop will do your deal, but a uh, um, fantastic model. Um, they really raise the bar, especially considering how small it is. Now, one that's bound to make the presses... Um, the announcement of the Warley show that's coming in November that's on Saturday the 24th and Sunday the 25th um, now it's well worth getting your tickets in advance because you'd make a quite a reasonable saving I think a, a one-day ticket is 15 pounds 50 um, for an advance or 17 pounds if you don't uh, and you buy it on the day um, it is a massive event absolutely crazy busy but uh, absolutely well worth going to um, I know a few people have been put off by the uh, the amount of people that go, um, but like all shows, they die down in the afternoons and things. Um, and last year I was I went there on a Sunday, and it was very quiet, um, especially come the afternoon, um, and not the usual Warley hordes that you'd think. But um, well worth going to. Now here's an advert for Train Tech. Um, of course, they've got a whole host of light signals and things. You often see them at shows with. Um, probably the most lit up um, little diorama you'll see um, but actually at the uh, Great Electric show I was at just this last weekend um, I think I've seen the my most favourite product of 2018 for uh, Model Railways um, and that's what they call a smart screen which is actually a, uh, a station display board um, or it could be used as a um, in train display board I think they had a class 170 with one on um, now they're not cheap, I think they're £50 for a single screen, uh, £90 for a twin pack and then £10 for a casing um, for these screens. But um, they're fully customisable, 
Um, they can be triggered by uh, DCC commands uh, or sensors in the track. So like I've got my automatic signals on the layout, the same sort of thing. Um, if I had a train going into the station, all of a sudden the screen, the, uh, screen on my platforms, for example, would change to say this train's coming. Um, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. Um, some criticisms I have seen is they are slightly too big. Um, however, if you, I think if you scale them right down, you won't really be able to see them. Um, they're not massive, massive, but uh, no, I think they're, uh, I think they're fantastic and easily um, the product of the year for me. Um, I love stuff like that. Now, proving popular is this uh, train formations handbook by Express Modeler. Um, I've seen a few people with one. Um, I think it's eight ninety nine. I think and in the shops now, and it proves very useful um, or a useful tool if you're trying to recreate uh, stereotypical rakes, things like that. It's absolutely fantastic. So um, that's definitely one to add to your literature collection, um, and one to uh, um, help you on your way to creating a more prototypical layout. Now, this double article spread called Onwards and Upwards um, does feature Backman's latest releases, or latest news, I should say, rather than lit releases. I shouldn't, I shouldn't jump the gun there. Um, in particular, two I'm really looking forward to. Um, the first one is the uh, Class 90, um, which will come in Intercity Swallow livery, um, the Rail Freight Grey livery, and the Freightliner Power Hall livery. Um, I'm really looking forward to these. Um, it's a a big step for them to do an electrical based loco um, and I suppose a small step away from the class 91 so fingers crossed on that one we'll probably see these locos at 152 pounds I've seen um, and they're 21 pin um, locos and they are due out in March to April of next year um, but we finally have the colour samples so um, I'm really excited about those normally when you see them painted they're due for release. <clears throat> also in the news from Batman, they have a uh, engineering prototype um, of their new class 158. Um, this will be uh, £220 I think DCC fitted or £305 sound fitted. Um, it does have door locking lights which is quite a nice neat new thing. It's obviously it's new tooling etc. Um, it's due the summer next year. Um, I'm sure I was I was told somewhere that this has been in, in production for nearly five years and Batman had real trouble with their <clears throat> manufacturing processes, factory problems, etc. That kind of thing, but serious problems and it's been delayed massively too long, but uh, um, it's finally on its way out. Um, <clears throat> it's funny, I actually visited Batman on uh, Monday. The headquarters are very local to me um, and we were talking about it. Um, and. Uh, I think fingers crossed it's finally imminent and I'm definitely looking forward to it. So that's all the news from uh, that I've picked from this month's Railway Magazine that suits me down to the round or I think is interesting to you. I do have a few other updates for you. Um, Scale Model Scenery have just released a mobile tower lighting for uh, building sites and works etc. I actually have one in front of me. Um, I was sent these by Justin. Um, these are going to retail at £9.99 um, as, a, as a model. Or 19.99 with the working lights, which is the models I have. You will see these in action on Friday's video when I uh, work on the scene behind me and with my engineering works. Um, I think because they're taking so long, I'm going to add some light and see if we can uh, get them working, get the uh, get the new junction finished. As you'll see, there you go. But, uh, I have tested them; they are quite cool. Cool. Um, they do have resistors, etc., um, and it's a nice little addition. News from Dapol. This did come out last, late last month, but just missed my news episode. Um, they're no longer going to sell sound-fitted locos to retailers who can then sell them to you. They're going to sell them direct um, sound-fitted. They blame a uh, increase in raw material prices, etc. Um, and they just can't uh, hold the cost. So um, it's a real shame, really, because it's, it's never nice to cut out a retailer. Where possible, I always like to support my local model shops. Um, I don't know whether that would make me less likely or more likely to uh, to use them um, in the future, um, depending on how good the Dapple sound is, which um, I've not got a model in front of me to com compare. Um, a lot of people I know will buy the uh, models from their local shops or retailer of choice and then have them fitted from somewhere like Lego Man Biffo, um, that kind of thing. 
But uh, it's just a shame that they've chosen to cut out the retailer rather than try and work a solution with it. Real track models um, and their new class 156, which we've been um, eagerly waiting. They finally have painted samples. I saw these at the Great Electric Model Show on uh, Sunday Just Gone. Um, they're coming in uh, East Midlands Trains livery and Sprint delivery, um, and they'll be £230 DCC ready or I think £350 sound fitted. Um, they're slightly more expensive than the uh, Backman Class 158 that's coming out, but uh, um, it'll be interesting to see um, in, see them in the flesh and compare the two. Um, but I mean, that's due out imminently. Um, and uh, um, I suppose the, the Batman version, they've still not got painted samples. So um, if you're going to pin your hopes on either one, I'd say the real track one is coming out first. And lastly, in today's episode, Hattons have uh, their new railhead treatment train, um, the containers. I actually saw these same again at the uh, Great Electrical Show in the flesh. Um, I had a good conversation with Tom over at Hattons about them, and he showed me all, all the details. Um, they have their painted samples, and I did see some running on some layouts, um, and they look absolutely fantastic, um, especially if you're into the modern image uh, scene like I am. Um, they're coming in six variations, I believe. Um, a double pack is £118, and a single is going to be £59. Um, so not ridiculously too bad. Um, one thing I was really impressed with with Hattons um, is they've actually provided a formations uh, sort of selection for you to choose from and pick uh, to the closest genre that you model. Um, and I was actually really impressed with that because that shows a lot of background effort for the modeler. Um, and I mean, a lot of people, a lot of manufacturers, I should say, get a lot of criticism for the cost of pricing the things, but uh, that little bit of extra effort does go a long way. So, uh, thumbs up to Hattons for that one. So, that's the conclusion of October's news segment for me. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll put all the details uh, to the sources of this information below. Um, obviously don't forget to pick up your copy of the Rowie magazine. Always worth a go if you're popping down your local shop. But, uh, as ever, thank you for watching. Hopefully it's been of interest to someone um, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys. <laughs>